Hi guys, welcome back to my video. So this video is just going to go over some of my vitamins, some calcium that I'm taking, I'm currently trying anyway. So November 28th of 2018, I had the gastric sleeve surgery um, at RMH um, Hospital. Um, at the beginning of the program, I was 253 pounds. Uh, my surgery weight was 230 pounds. Um, I am currently 168 pounds. So I am losing, uh, right now I'm actually losing slower, but that's okay. My only goal I really ever had throughout this whole process was um, under 200 pounds, and I've made that goal. Um, right now it's a struggle for me to get in all my protein. Um, sometimes I'm just not hungry. Sometimes I have no idea what I want to eat. Um, I try to stay away from rice, which is hard because, like, I could have had rice, like, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I haven't had rice since day of surgery. Um, actually, I think I'm, what, eight months in November? Yeah. I think I'm eight months now. Um, but anyway, so, uh, these are, the like, what are these are my calcium chews um they're the watermelon flavor i have to put three a day on it so i can remember how many i am actually really bad at following and taking these i try my best to remember to eat them sometimes i tend to forget um these are the celebrate kind and then for my for my multivitamin right now i'm just taking the equate brand i picked this up at walmart the um, complete multivitamin the adult is compared to the centrum adults um, it, the serving size on this is take one tablet a day I sometimes will take two because um, I feel like it doesn't give me the vitamins I need especially because uh, my nutritionist had recommended I take the celebrate um, multivitamin but I could not handle it it was a chewable one and I couldn't stomach it it would make me sick like to the point where I was throwing it up so I switched and I was taking a gummy one but then I got tired of chewing because I was chewing this chewing the gummies so I decided to try this one and I have a hard time swallowing pills like I have a phobia that like a pill is gonna get stuck in my throat and I'm gonna choke and die so I have a hard time um, swallowing pills and these are actually really big like look at these things look at the size of that that's huge for me and then I also take um, a fiber, a fiber supplement because I just don't get enough fiber in my diet uh, these are three gummies a day these kind of taste like candy sometimes I forget to chew them too um, and then how I try to organize my pills is I actually bought this from the Dollar Tree um, a seven-day pill counter and I would put it got um, a Sunday a.m. and Sunday p.m. it was only a dollar so I didn't mind it I just wanted to give it a try and see if I like it what I want to find is one that has the three compartment for like morning um, midday and an evening one because I do, in the morning time, I take more, um, no, in the morning, I'll take one of my calcium chews, and then I try to put the two in the PM one, I think it's upside down, um, so I'll take, like, one midday, one evening, so I would like to look for a pill holder that has, like, a morning, a noon, and a PM, that it's not gonna be super expensive, because I tend to lose things and break things so I don't want to spend a lot on it um, but so this was just to go over what I'm taking what I'm looking to add as well into my uh, routine is um, what is it collagen is uh, I, I did cut my hair because um, at some point my hair was falling out a lot and um, it was heavy so it would like I can see like I was losing here so with my hair being short 
it got that bounce so I can feel like it's more full then it's getting thin. I think it's growing back now. I when I go like this, I doesn't I I doesn't. I don't um, get a handful now. Like see, I still get one or two, but I was getting like a handful when I was doing that. So I think um adding these vitamins and make sure I'm taking them every day is helping me. And then also what I want to say add in is biotin. Um, just because I've heard some really good things about that it would help with like nails and hair and then the one the, the next thing I'm work trying to work on is my water intake um, I have a, a bottle that I take around with me everywhere it's a 42 ounce container I will actually have a blue one and a red one um, I usually only take one everywhere I go to try and make sure I get as much water intake sometimes I forget to drink um, until I'm like dying of thirst and I'm like oh okay it's already too late I shouldn't be so thirsty if I was drinking my water sometimes I forget to do that so right now like I said I'm at 168 I'm happy where I'm at um, I'll just stand up and show you um, what my kind of the shape of my body is right now sometimes I think I have like what is it called body dysmorphia Although I love my new body, I still feel like there's more I can do. Um, I'm not 100% happy where I'm at, but I'm still happy if that makes sense. So I'm going to stand up if you want to grab the camera thing. And then I'll show you. So this is how I'm looking right now. I, the, I do have the extra skin here and here. So I do want to work in getting some exercise in to start toning those up. Right now, um, like before this weight loss, I would have never fit into something like this. This is actually a medium. I went from a plus size extra large to a regular size medium. Now I can, um, I can go, I can actually go into a store and shop in a regular size clothing department. I don't need to go to a plus size no longer, which is so exciting. Um, so I'm happy. I'm extremely happy that the surgery was able to help me get back what I already know was there. It just kind of assisted me and helped me and it pushed me to where I want to be. Oh, so <laughs> I... Um, I heard many a times about, I've watched other people videos about dumping syndrome. I experienced my first dumping syndrome in eight months because blaming myself, it was my own fault. I ate dinner and I knew I was full, but I had a little craving for ice cream, which before surgery, I didn't really care for ice cream, but now I seem to like ice cream a lot. Um... So I had an ice cream cone, I was eating it, and I burped. I'm like, oh, I think I'm full, but no, in my head, I was like, no, you're fine. Go ahead, girl, finish the ice cream cone. So about, I want to say 11.30, I, all of a sudden, just got like this pain in my stomach, and the pain got worse and worse. I got up out of bed. I start walking up and down my hallway. I took some liquid. I think it was Tylenol with Cody. My doctor had prescribed for me for pain because I had some complications at the beginning of my um, pr uh, process here. So I was taking a lot of medication. Um, I think it was Tylenol with codeine. Anyway, so I tried some of that and oh my god. That taught me a lesson that night is I made the choice. I knew I was full. I knew I didn't need that ice cream, that sugar, and I paid the price. So since then, I still, I, I try to be careful and watch what I'm eating. Let my body tell me when it's full, when it's hungry. Listen to your body, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to have dumping syndrome. The 
anyway guys i just wanted to update you on that i know it's i don't i try i am trying to do it every month just do a monthly update and let you know where i'm at and if you guys have advice for me please leave me a comment like i do read them i try to reply um to have this be more interactive with you know hey thank you for watching i do appreciate it please leave me a comment down below a like and a subscribe and then i'll catch you guys on the next video bye guys